2022. Well, tonight, Congressman Brian Mast and some environmental groups are demanding that water discharges from Lake Okeechobee permanently get sent south and away from our local waters. The concern, of course, is exactly what we're talking about, toxic blue-green algae. Steve King joins us now live from Port Mayaka, Lock and Dam, where people again took a stand against polluting the water. Congressman Brian Mast and a few environmental groups say they will not accept any discharges from Lake Okeechobee heading east unless the lake gets to dangerously high levels. It's most basic level. The government should be able to say, I won't poison you. I, I think that's just a basic level of good governance. So we need a new Lake Okeechobee management plan that prioritizes human health, protecting people from toxic algae. Congressman Mast and the environmental group sent this letter to the Army Corps of Engineers urging the federal government to commit to no more discharges heading east in the agency's Lake Okeechobee System Operating Manual, or LOSUM, which outlines the plan for the next several years. We are at this point of a once in a probably multi-decade opportunity. Instead of heading east, the letter calls for most of the discharges to flow south towards the Everglades. The state has invested billions, uh, largely tax taxpayer dollars into a network, a 70,000 acre network of treatment marshes that clean the pollutants before that water can go into the Everglades. We are concerned about toxins. We're concerned about algal blooms. We remain committed to sending every drop of water south that we can. Uh, the challenge there is we don't control the stormwater treatment areas. That's controlled by the South Florida Water Management District, which says until some new infrastructure is built in the next decade or so, they're limited by federal and state guidelines as to how much water is permitted to flow south. Vegetation in those stormwater treatment areas have taken on uh, more than their fair share of water over the last year. And so now those stormwater treatment areas are having to recover so that we can continue to deliver clean water to the Everglades. We've also reached out to the governor's office to see if there's any effort to get any environmental regulations changed to allow more water to flow south in the immediate future, but we have not received a response. Reporting from the Port Mayaka Lock and Dam, Steve King, WPBF 25 News. Steve, thank you. Governor Ron DeSantis.